Hey, we all remember this hit three weeks ago between the Falcons, Dante Robinson, and Deshaun Jackson of the Eagles. Jackson suffered a concussion, which, by the way, was his second within the past year. He will return to action today, Charlie, wearing a special helmet. So the question is, what's unique about this helmet? Well, it's manufactured by Shutt, and this is an exact replica of what the helmet is it's going to be wearing. Okay, here's the same model. Now, see the blue material in here? That is what's different about this helmet. It's called thermoplastic urethane, which Shutt believes does a better job of managing impacts than the traditional foam that's in helmets. Now, this helmet is growing in popularity. Last year, there was only 60 or 70 in the league. Now there's over 200 of players wearing them. And by the way, Dante Robinson, his hearing on his $50,000 fine, it'll be this Tuesday in New York. Switching to Chicago, to say the least, it's been a bad year for Bears quarterback Jake Cutler. So what well, we've got an interesting matchup in Philly. Michael Vick and Peyton Manning. With more on the Colts-Eagles matchup, we send it out to Sal Palantonio. David, Michael Vick claims he's 100% healthy. Today, the key is for him to remain dangerous without being reckless. Remember, Michael Vick is an unrestricted free agent at the end of the year. The key is for him to be healthy, be on the field, lead the Eagles to the playoffs in this nine-game stretch, and then there's a big payday on the other end. If not, all bets are off. Another guy who wants to stay on the football field today is Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Jackson will be wearing this specially designed shut helmet, an Air XP today. It has this special thermoplastic urethane padding in it used by the military to reduce the concussions due to bomb blast. Now, the interesting thing about this helmet is the Air XP. Deshaun Jackson could be using another shut helmet called the Ion 4D. But the company spokesman told me it just doesn't pass the mirror test for these players. They don't like it because it's just too big and they don't look good, David. All right, Sal, thank you very much. Uh, very much. Michael Vick, one of the big stories at the midway point of the season in the NFL.